Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Indiana Pacers playing against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And we've got David Aldridge joining us from the sidelines. Postseason pictures starting to come into focus, Mike. Are teams that are fighting for a position watching the standings right now? Impossible not to for most players and coaches. You still have to play your game and worry about what you control. Clearly that was number one for you, but uh, would you find yourself sometimes during games or whenever looking at the scoreboard? You got me. I have to be totally honest. I did catch a few players glimpsing up at the scoreboard, <laughs> but that was only after I had looked at it already. Right. <laughs> They're just following the coach. <laughs> And so it's the Bulls getting on the board first. Pass to Smith. There's the double team with Grant. Here's McLeod. Jordan with the steal. And Jordan spins it home. You know, Jordan doesn't need any help there. I mean, his athleticism is really on another level. Here's McLeod coming in off a 10-point performance last game out on the wing, Williams. Trying to find Thompson, he gets it to him. Passes it to Sanders. Stolen by Pippen. All alone, and Pippen slams it in. Yeah, Pippen, a fantastic defender and knows when to pounce on passing lanes to come up with the steals. Watch out. Pass to Thompson. Here's Smiths. He is guarded by Cartwright. And it's Smiths missing. The Bulls have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. And the slam dunk by Pippen. You know, Pippen doing a nice job recognizing where the lane was on that fast break. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And the Pacers call time here. I think this is more like a tourniquet as opposed to just being a simple timeout. Yeah, they're just bleeding points here, and Coach has seen enough. Smits passes to Williams. Thompson a screen on Jackson. To halt the run. Thompson misses. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. Textbook alley -oop finished that time by Jordan, picking a clean pass right out of the air for the big slam. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, Williams dishes to Sanders. Thompson outside. Outside Williams. Thompson a screen on Paxson. Just five to shoot. And the Pacers can't get it to go. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Screen by Grant. The 15-footer. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got six right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That's his first foul. First team foul. Sanders against Pippen. Williams passes to Smith. He kicks it to Sanders. And here is Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Pretty good defense that time from John Paxson. Not being shy about getting up in the shooter's face there. It's Pippen with a drive. Here's Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. Right from the start, they set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip. 
doing an amazing job building this lead. So timeout call here the first for Indiana. Scott Williams, he's checked in for Cartwright. Pacers trail by 14. Williams passes to Smith. Here's McLeod to end the drought. Indiana again missing. The pass to Jordan. With the drive. And it's Grant in the corner. Sanders against Jordan. Back to Grant. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Outstanding effort and performance here, especially when you factor in they're on the road. So difficult to win games away from home. And they're not just up, they're in control. Timeout called the Pacers. Detlef Schrems checked in for Indiana. Now we get a chance to check out the seeding out east. Four games left on the schedule here. Take a look at the Bulls. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they, you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And, of course, the Pacers. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. Pippen against Williams. And the slam dunk by Pippen. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Now, here is Schrempf. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. There's the dish to Thompson. Pass to McLeod. Looking to end the run. Chicago grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. And you tip the hat to this team's defense in that win. Great activity on that side of the ball. They were disciplined and stayed focused start to finish. Challenged every shot they could. Now, here's Jordan, and the shot goes in. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. Early on, they built this lead on the power of paint points. Being aggressive in the paint can take a team out of a game early. Williams against Paxson. Thompson sets the pick for Williams. He feeds it to Thompson. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. They finally get on the board. Boy, that's got to be a relief. Woo! And no doubt hoping their offense flows a bit easier now that they've broken the seal. Short. Misses from close range. Pacers trail by 18. Down low. Stolen by Grant. It's Jordan on the win. Over Williams. Jordan with another miss. That's a shot he'd like back. Won't miss those very often. Well, a good look. They keep getting shots like that. They'll be all right. And the ball's making a change here. Livingston's check in. Paxson against Williams. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. In the corner, Sanders with it. Kicks it to Shrimp. Dryling passes to Thompson. Here's Williams. And, oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Chicago. And the first one drops. So both teams changing it up here. And Williams drops them both. The defense keeps fouling him. And he's making them pay for it. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 20 to 4 run right now. Time now for an injury report. Hey guys, I talked to the head athletic trainer for the Pacers who gave us some information. He said it looks like he bruised his tailbone on that play. For a team that isn't in the playoff picture right now, you would think they're going to err on the side of caution in terms of his coming back on the floor. Kevin? All right, good stuff, DA. That was an important update, Clark, for this team. It certainly was. The more clarity on an injury, the better for everybody. Well, as a coach or GM, you want to have a backup plan, but you need to know the timetable. And so here is Chicago. The Pacers making the shot. Pass to Baylor. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, Shrimp showing you some nice awareness there. And he's dependable when it comes to finding his open teammates. 
Williams against Armstrong. Knocks it loose. Williams looking around. And the shot goes down. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, against a much taller player, you've got to be slick and wily. Figure out a way to get your shot off against a bigger guy. I think it helps if you have a quick release, change of direction, just don't be deliberate. Here is Armstrong. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Back to King. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And the Bulls lead by 12. Putting his size to good use, King sets the pick and then rolls out into scoring position. Williams against Armstrong. Williams up on top. Six points for him. Whitman passes to Williams. Over Armstrong. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Chicago. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. And, you know, this is a team that has always looked to push it on the break whenever they can. A very opportunistic approach on offense. I like how aggressive they remain attacking in transition. Armstrong with it. Whitman defending. 20 feet out. Jump shot is good that time. Armstrong's got his first two points of the night. I like this play call by Armstrong, intelligently moving things around to create for himself. Over to the wing, to the middle. Here's Shrimp, plays it up off the glass. Shrimp's got his first basket. Love the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball, inside and outside action. Armstrong against Whitman. Armstrong passes to Williams. Armstrong with the screen on Shrimp. Chalk up two there. Inside, Williams' size is a factor, helping him battle through the contact. Here's Bailey. He's guarded by Hodges. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the technical free throw is good. In September, it was announced that the U.S. would use pros at the summer games. And this summer in Barcelona, Mike, it should be incredible. You don't have to imagine anymore. We will see a team with Jordan, Bird, Magic, Ewing, all together. A dream come true this summer. What do you think? I mean, like, they have all those guys. It's, it's, it's an all-star team, but it's a super all-star team. One team with all those players. Is there enough room? <laughs> this is just a reminder to the rest of the world that if we put all of our weapons together, we're pretty darn good in basketball. Our game. <laughs> little back and forth, Tay to Tay on the perimeter. Both teams showing off their range. Just another reminder of how excellent the shooting has become in this league. Now, here's Thompson. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Smiths. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Pretty play by Rick Smith. Gets hit with the foul, but still converts on the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Sanders checked in for Shrimp. Rick Smith. One shot. He hails from the Netherlands. Rick Smith's not just a 7 4 guy. His free throw numbers tell you he's got a really soft touch and good skill, too. Armstrong against Whitman. Williams, a screen on Whitman. And there's the pass to Hodges. King with it. Right side, Williams. Got a piece of it. Well, the size of Smith so intimidating. He's 7'3", Hulk. 
He uses those big hands to turn away shots. So both teams making some changes here. Pacers trail by 10. Pass to Sanders. To the paint. Here's Smith. And the lead is down inside single digits. Smith has got five points so far. You know, given his size, it makes a lot of sense to feed Smith down low. Really good execution there. Here's Pippen. Passes to Purdue. It's good. You know, I don't care what your lead is or how many points you're up. I think you should always be looking to add to it. Stay aggressive. Yeah, aggressive move right at the rim. Driving another nail into that ball. Here's Bailey after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Smith. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Smith has got seven now in this quarter. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pippen, the pass to Purdue. And slam dunk by Purdue. And Scottie Pippen, so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Smith. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Now the pass to Purdue. It's rebounded by Indiana. Up top, Sanders. Defended by Pippen. And that's a surprising time. Clark for an intentional foul. It sure is. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish right there. I'll tell you what, he better have a good reason for it, or he's going to be seeing some extra pine time. And the ball's making a change here. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Kent. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Armstrong. And it's Paxson in for Hodges. A three. A shot by McLeod, no good. Here's Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. Timeout called the Pacers. The Pacers making a change here. Williams is checked in, and Chicago also making a switch. Livingston's checked in for Scottie Pippen. Outside Williams. Here's Smiths. He's got seven. Outside Williams. Lock at six. Thompson sets the pick for Williams. Here's McLeod. Off target from outside. Chicago leading by 12. Here's Jordan. The 15 footer. The shot, no good. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Williams inside, guarded by Paxson. Can they get it? And it's blocked. Tons of reach from Levingson. Stuffed the shot there. Pacers foul call. The Pacers making a change here. Substitution for your Pacers. For Chicago, they've gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Outside Jordan. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Jordan's got 14 points for the game. And yeah, we know Jordan is a master from the mid-range. Whether he's squared up or falling away, you feel like it's going to splat. Pass to McClough. Two notes remaining in the first half. Two notes. Tries it from 19. They get it back. You know, he's taking shot after shot after shot, but still can't break out of this cold streak. At this point, it's all mental. He's in his own head, not letting the shots come naturally. Now here's Williams. He's got six. Here's Smith. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Smith has got nine points now in the quarter. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. 
Jordan the pass to Paxson. Back to Jordan. Goes back up. That one goes in. He's got 16. Getting plenty of lift on that jumper. Michael Jordan, a premier shooter. And that wasn't always the case. Williams passes to Schrempf. Here's Smiths. He's covered by Grant. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, that's what we call a good foul. Make them earn it at the line. It might not be pretty, but that's the right play in that situation. He saved the layup with that foul. First free throw is good. Whitman is checked in for the Pacers. And Chicago also making a switch. Pippen's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Paxson kicks to Jordan. Fader on the way. And it's Chicago scoring again. I don't know what the heck the defense was thinking there. I mean, he's cast from this area of the floor. And they let him walk into it. Yeah, you got to show more fight on defense. This isn't the guy you give room to shoot from the mid-range. And it's Smith's missing. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. They led the game at one point by 20. Grant sets a screen for Jordan. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Outside Williams. Inside, here's Smith. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists now in this one. Good if it goes, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bull. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Michael Jordan in this game, he has been everywhere. He has been getting to the rim and finishing with authority through the first half. They don't have an answer for him. Can't keep him away from the rim and can't stop him from finishing when he gets there. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Paxson passes to Jordan. A fader. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Great recognition there by Paxson. Noticing the open teammate and setting him up for the painless bucket. Takes the three. The rebound by Cartwright. Boy, the defense just smothered that one draped all over him. Outstanding effort to contest without foul. Pacers trail by 14. Sanders passes to Williams. Count it. Williams has got his third basket of the night right there. This is the creativity he brings to this offense. Fantastic at involving his teammates with his passing. Indiana foul. Williams. First personal foul. First team foul. It's Jordan on the win. He's got 20. Over McLeod. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got 22. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Passes it to Smiths. Shoots over Cartwright. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. It's Pippen on the win. Sanders covering. Pippen the pass to Grant. And Jordan has it in the corner. Third quarter here. Over a minute and a half into it. He muscles it in through the contact. And they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. 
That's where Grant is most active. That offensive glass does a nice job using his body to get the position he needs. Bailey, he's checked in for the Pacers. And a change for the Bulls. Kings checked in. Here's Bailey. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Here's Smith. Rebound by the Bulls. Grant's got five rebounds tonight. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They've literally been giving points away inside. I know Coach has something to say about that. And you have to address situations like this right away or it's just going to keep happening to you. Smith passes to Bailey. To the inside. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Shot to stop the run. Smiths and the layup fall. Smiths has got 15. I mean, good luck. He's seven foot four. I foul him too. It's your only chance. Paxson passes to Jordan. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Six to shoot. Goes to the fadeaway and cans it. Jordan's got nine points in the quarter. A complete guard. Jordan can beat you in so many different ways. Thompson passes to Smith. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. He's got 17. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Now here's Jordan. He's got 27. Over McLeod. Another one falls for Chicago. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Here's Bailey. Pass to Smiths. Again, Indiana. I like when Smith slams his foot on the gas pedal. Just go to work right now. The Bulls leading by 18. Pippen, the pass to Paxson. Jordan, right side. Over McLeod. And the Bulls tack on two more. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep, this is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Here's Smith. 19 points in the game. Can't hit from 12. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. The Pacers have gone an even 50% to the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Tries it from 19. A shot by McLeod, no good. That's normally one of his spots. It was a quality look. Shame to see him go to waste. I love the way he got right to the rim, all the way to the basket. Didn't settle that time. Running the floor and just doing an excellent job out hustling everyone else. Here's Bailey, guarded by Paxson. Bailey passes to Smith. Shoots over King. And once again off the mark by Indiana. And it's Williams with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Jordan dishes to Pippen. Jordan against Sanders. Jordan kicks to Pippen. And the pass to Jordan. Back to Pippen from deep. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Pippen's got 14. Nice shot off the catch there. Pippen shows you a little bit of everything every night. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Pippen with the steal. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. This is why you want the ball movement coach and player movement. And as a result of that, they've made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual player. Here's Smiths. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Smiths has got 21 in the game. 
Well, standing seven foot four with a soft shooting touch, that mid-range jumper of Smith's is nearly impossible to defend. Jordan passes to Pippen, and again it's the Bulls it's from deep. I don't think the defense saw him as a threat, but he takes full advantage of that with a nice long-range shot. Two minutes. Bailey passes to Sanders. Here's Smits. Paxson pulls it in. Jordan outside. Over McLeod. Trying to get open is Pippen. He can't get that one. So Indiana will take it the other way. 135 left in the third. Over to the left wing. Sanders passes to Smits. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Smith's size is sometimes overwhelming for defenses, which is why they elect to foul. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far? For the Bulls, the first one falls. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Will Purdue's checked in for King. Livingston comes in for Pippen. B.J. Armstrong's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Hodges subbed in for John Paxson. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We've got 123 left to play in the third. Williams against Hodges. Pass to Purdue. Here's Levingston. And it's Smith with the rebound. Here's Whitman. No points in the game yet for him. He dishes it to Shrimp. Indiana moving the ball around. There's the screen. Here's Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Personal foul. Second team. Pacers have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. And the first one at the line is good. The Pacers making a switch here. Ryan's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Chicago has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Poked away. Here's Williams. And that one drops. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. Well, he needs help. Scoring-wise, his teammates need to do something. Passes it to Hodges. Hey, hey, hey! Armstrong, Armstrong! Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Credit to Hodges for sticking with it. Thompson, he's checked in for Bryant. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for one. Free throw good, Hodges. 24 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Williams with the ball. Ten points for him. Shot clock at five. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll return shortly. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Here's Indiana. Now. Here's Grady. And the basket is good. You know, with that kind of height mismatch, you've got to send help defensively. The Bulls leading by 23. Now Armstrong. Williams, a screen on Whitman. Armstrong passes to Williams. Count that one. Clever feed by Armstrong. Reading the four and finding the right guy to send the ball to. Williams has gone two or three from the field. Now five years since the NBA, Mike, went to three officials on the floor. 
Uh, it appears to me it's definitely helped the game. What do you think? So much action happens at once. You need three refs looking. Sometimes you wish there was a way they could review tough calls. Don't you think that's coming, though, Mike, down the road to add another layer of, of observation? It just makes sense. We have the technology. Why not use it and get it right? And it's the Pacers with the ball after the Bulls pick up two. Two on the clock. Williams can't hit. Oh, Chicago has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Williams, a screen on Whitman. Pass to Livingston. Here's Armstrong. Oh, good with the triple. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up at a three. Sanders, high post. Whitman against Armstrong. Whitman can't make it. There's the pass to Livingston. Launches a three. And the Bulls get it back. Armstrong against Whitman. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Williams inside, working on Sanders. Second chance shot, and Williams lays it in. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. There's that rebounding that Scott Williams is known for. I love seeing him go after the offensive glass like that. Sanders passes to Whitman. Here's Shrimp. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. For Chicago, they've gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Got a piece of it. Williams with the steal. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Running the floor, the German deadlift shrimp. Bulls leading by 23. Hodges the pass to Armstrong. Purdue the screen. Ripping against Armstrong. Shot clock at six. Here's Hodges. And the three off target. The Pacers have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Pass to Dryling. It's all in by the Bulls. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Hodges. And the Bulls with another miss. And uh, Indiana shooting 43% from the floor. It's Shrimp on the wing. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got his fifth assist in this one. And Shrimp's jumper is just straight cash, especially from mid -range. And now we'll take a moment for our presentation of our player of the game, Michael Jordan. Boy, he completely took over, I think, on both ends of the floor. Scoring with authority and influencing a lot of plays, almost every play. This was the kind of night you dream about as a player. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. This offseason, 10 teams making coaching changes, Mike, and uh, the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. Owners are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. So how would you approach a job? Win now, or do we want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here, the way you could, as a coach, you know, go. I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager, and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes, up and down. When you walk out of the room, you say to yourself, I've got to win games right away. <laughs> Nothing to try and be opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year and the fans are impatient and the media is on you. They make a change rather than remember that long-term plan they talked about. Good Instagram. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Passes to Smith. 
There's the double team with Pippen. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Williams. Takes it inside. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. Use the pick. Get space. Easy, smart basketball. Left side, Jordan. Back to Paxson. On the wing, Jordan. Shoots a fader. And good that time. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. He'll hit those if you leave that much room. Needs to do a better job of closing out. Outside, Williams. A trend we're seeing in the NBA now, Mike, is an influx of talent from overseas. Teams, uh, it seems to me, are scouting worldwide. It shows how far basketball has come as an international sport. Players are coming to the NBA from every continent. This is a global game now. Here's Jordan. The Pacers making the shot. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 158 left in the fourth quarter. Shot, high post, again Chicago. You know, because Jordan is so spectacular, sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked. And he keeps it simple. Why get fancy when the pick and roll works like that? Now here's Williams. Pass to Smits. Good. The nice assist for Williams. Williams has got assist number seven for him tonight. And so Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Over McLeod. The shot, no good. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Really hard to think of things they didn't do well in this one. Certainly a dominant night on offense for the Bulls. A dominant performance, Clark. A huge win for this team. Well, the coaching staff has to be pleased with how well the game plan was executed. It was a fun W as well. And I imagine the coaches are going to have a good night's sleep after this one. And it's pretty incredible when you look at the body of work this year, guys. I mean, when they hit 70 wins, we were astounded. And then now, the wins continuing to pile up in what's been truly a remarkable and special season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Michael Jordan. On a roll offensively. He's been in the zone. And the basket by McClaw. The defense was wanting, and he gave it to him. Outside Jordan. to Pippen fades and shoots and there's Jordan that's good on the assist by Pippen Jordan's got 41 and here is Williams the pass to Smith and out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession just not on the same page right there not sure what he was trying to do with that pass There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Jordan. Whitman grabs the miss. Here's Bailey. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. It takes physical and mental toughness luck to win on the road. Man, they crushed it. They sure did, and you know, in terms of talent, there's just no comparison between these teams. And that about wraps it up. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you later.